Leo tunapika, we are making a frittata. What's that you ask? It's an omelette on steroids. I'm Gatweri and welcome to my channel. For the ingredients, you're going to need eggs, broccoli, which I've steamed already, bacon, cheese, I'm using two types, cheddar and mozzarella, onions, green peppers, ho ho. And then for the flavorings, we have black pepper, salt, and dried oregano, and of course, oil for frying. So let's go to the stove. So we'll start by cooking the bacon. I'll put a little oil. I know adding bacon to oil, but anyway, adding oil to bacon, whichever. Anyway, some little oil, heated pan. Use an oven proof pan since we're going to bake this. So and then we add the bacon. So cook the bacon until tender. We don't want it to crisp up since it's going to be part of the frittata. So now we are going to take out the bacon. I put some crisp proof paper on my plate so that it catches any extra oil. So as I said, a frittata is just, it's an egg based dish that has, you can put just about any vegetable or meat you want from sausages to bacon mushrooms bell peppers whatever basically whatever you have on hand and then it's topped up with cheese and then finished off in the oven so it's even like an egg pizza yeah so the last of my bacon in the same pan I'm going to add some little more oil, about a tablespoon. This one is for frying our onions. So you want the onions to fry until light and translucent. Then we'll go in with our bell pepper. As you can see, our onions are a bit translucent. We're going to go in with the bell peppers. I've not yet seasoned with any salt. I'll season when I'm I'll, se I'll season when I'm seasoning the eggs. And also, when you're working with bacon, just ensure you don't go heavy on the salt because bacon itself is already salty, so it will lend to the salt in the dish. So we want this to cook for like two minutes until the the peppers are slightly tender. Then we'll add our steamed broccoli. So now guys we go in with the broccoli. I had prior steamed it so that we make this process faster. So we just want it combined with everything else. Then now we'll do the eggs and uh, I'll show you what we'll do next. Look how beautiful that looks. Such vibrant green colors. And it smells quite divine. The pepper, the bell peppers have come alive. Now we have our eggs here. Going to season a little bit salt, not so much. Remembering the bacon has salt. Of course, black pepper. As you know by now, I love using freshly ground black pepper as opposed to the one that's already ground. Then have dried oregano. Lightly beat. Then we go in with our bacon. We are adding it into the egg mixture. And then finally, a little bit of our cheese. So a little bit of mozza, a little bit of cheddar. Make sure everything is mixed. The rest of the cheese will go to topping the frittata before we put it in the oven. At this point, ensure your heat is on medium, low. So yes, now the beautiful part. So 
so we're going to let this cook for three to five minutes before transferring it to the oven so before putting it in the oven we're going to drizzle over cheese so this is just a mixture of the cheddar and the mozzarella so trying to place it in a single layer have it yeah, so the cheese will melt form a nice coat then some little bit of oregano so now we are ready to put it in the oven so now we put the frittata in so that it browns and this is why we use an oven proof pan so that it doesn't burn. Yeah, five to seven minutes, and our frittata will be done. So after five minutes, we are ready to remove our frittata. Let's see how it looks, guys. Oh, yay! Look at that color. It's brown beautifully. So turn off your oven, and we are ready to serve. So now using a spoon, carefully loosen the sides. Ensure you go the whole circumference of the pan since we want to slide it off so now we're ready moment of truth of our plate there there you have it our frittata doesn't that look amazing we're going to cut into it as you can see i've been munching on it anyway i'm having it with some sweet chili sauce made by african kaya wangashi you make dope sauce anyway let's give it another taste guys Oh my goodness, this is delicious, hands down. So if you're looking for something quick and easy to whip up, either it's for lunch or a quick brunch, light meal, this frittata. For the recipe, check the description box. It links to my blog, leotonapica.com. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your support and your love. From me, Gatueri Kwaheri.